Kerstin, 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 vieras, joka tulee tähän yhteisöön, näkee ja sen ensimmäistä kertaa. Millä tavalla voi kuulua yhteisöön kuukauden ajan? Mikä tämä paikka on ja millainen minun rooli tulee olemaan siellä, jos en päätä sitä etukäteen? Muuttuu kameleontiksi, joka sukeltaa kieleen ja kulttuuriin, imitaattorina ja klovnina. No problem. My, my phone, I think I have to check it because my phone has been pretty weird last days. Yeah, I, I think it got wet because it's rained so much that this rain just entered my... Did you, did you get my email address? No problem. So we'll stay in touch and we'll see you, see you next week. Perfect. Thank you so much. Bye. Jeg synes ikke, det er så slemt. Det synes jeg aldrig, ja. det har været. Men, men aviserne, de kan nemt skrive om det. Ja. Altså den gang vi lige flyttede ud, der blev det, det fik sådan en dårlig ryg. Vi har været her, her nu to år, ja. og vi kender, at, at der findes så meget mange mennesker som er gode hjerter. Gode, gode mennesker, vi har, vi har kendt. Ja, du kan, du kan ikke høre, når det kommer bi. Jeg siger, at vi har trivs meget godt her i Gullestrup. Vi trivs bra, vi trivs godt. Så vi, vi tykker, vi li... Hvordan siger man på dansk? Vi, vi kan li på, på Gullestrup. It's a, for, for oss det har været et godt plads. Ja. Ja, vi, vi bor her for en måned. Uh, for at det er en projekt som er unu... Vi bor der i, i Børnehavet, i Hedegården, i her i Lyngens kvarter. Ja, vi, vi har to, to lægenheter lægen i Børnehavet. Do you come often? The no, I come here once in a while when he visits here. Oh yeah. So you have a friend here? Yeah, I have one here and the other one just left. Oh. Ja, vi har i dag snakket med køer. Ja, <laughs> <laughs> Ja, for han gik med kamera. 
where they can take mm. care of kind of our dumb like the cure and then like they start to approach him yeah. and I was like, Get out of there and kill you <laughs> And they could just come very close to the well, camera. The cows are very friendly over here. Yeah, I think so. The cows are not the <laughs> ghetto cows neither. No, 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 they are friendly cows. Yeah, they are friendly cows. <laughs> Animals, they look almost like they come from a children's book. They are so. uh, <laughs> symbols of uh, the non-believers. Yeah. Always fighting. The animals. Yeah. <laughs> they always look uh, angry. Yeah. <laughs> um, very often they That's are true. like that. Great. Yeah. It's kind of funny because he looks like he's old already. Yeah. But uh, he's never depicted as an infant but yeah. always as a, a small grown-up. When I had to paint them, I had to find out what is the story about these animals. So do you and always find a story when you paint? I have to. Yes. I can't paint something I don't understand. Yes. And this is an interesting story because he is actually a historic person. Archippus. Yes. He was a priest, had a church in the part of the old uh, Turkey. And uh, this is the angel, Michael, coming to his assistance because bad people trying to flood the church with this water. Sometimes Things come out of uh, unexpected situations. What is mostly known in of these buildings are from the 70s, or late 60s, early 70s, as a project that was very futuristic and uh, something about how families were supposed to live in the future. One of the issues was that nobody could afford or would afford to live in it. So over time, uh, refugees, um, foreign workers, had been placed there by by uh, the city council. Yeah, for the yeah, and then over time, it it of course develops like any other kind of ghetto that that you can't really get out of this. You can't get this good mixture of all kinds of people. In it, it becomes sort of the same kind of people living there, and then nobody else wants to go there. So you're in a an evil circle. Yeah, <sighs> Der er måske ret mange, som ikke har arbejdet herude. Som, ja. Og det, det er faktisk det er et fint område, med grønt område, men, men det har nok ikke lav status. Ja, yeah. and den der plads og heller gulde stru. Det er nok omkring her, i yeah. det sociale boligbyggeri. Yeah. Men det er gjort meget for det, fordi også hvor der er fjernet bygninger, hvor der er forsøgt virkelig at få gang i, yeah. i nogle gode ting. Og, og det, skal, det fortjener området også. Det er et godt område ellers, men, men det er selvfølgelig altså, at få et bedre ryg. Det 
this history is only in here. Yes. But it's actually not nothing to do with reality. No, 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 no. They don't go further. No. I had a friend who lived there in uh, Lupin's quarter. Yeah. Uh, hun, hun sa, sa det at, uh, det finns vänner, hennes vänner har gått uh, in i Gullestrup mm. och de var en överrasning, överrasning like surprised. Ah, yeah. oh, det finns något efter den där blocken. <laughs> ja, det är en stor, it's like a stor, yeah. like a big uh, yeah. suburb. They and just thought it was. They uh, thought it's uh, only this facade. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's a beautiful metaphor that mm -hmm. it's facade. Yeah. And the idea also is only a facade. Mm -hmm. And what happens behind is your imagination yeah. and the media's imagination. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought even that maybe they could do this map also using collage techniques so they could cut things and then put it in the map. Yeah, in so they could like build the map by little fragments. Yes, in, in different colors. Exactly. Maybe. So it could be like a, like, of course this is an official map, but they could make this creative explosion. Kids, they know this already. They have learned that this, all the streets have names, and this is the school, and this is the kindergarten, and uh, and this is the playing field. So the point is to understand that this is made by somebody who decided what is important in this map. But now I would like them to replace this map and make map for from their own point of view. So they could, for example, start drawing their their house. Okay, this is important for me. I live here. Then. We, there's a road that they always take a bicycle going away. Here, then they have to cross, for example, this street, and maybe in here they remember that there happened. There was car coming, and there almost happened an accident. Crack. So they could ride Farley Way, and uh, this could be. It could be a school, but it could be also best friend's house. So when is who's it? So if they're here lives the best friend, they could for example make this uh Luke away with like happiness road. <laughs> I don't know if it is in Danish, but Luke away. And here's this friend's place. And then little by little they can point out the places what they know from the map. And point out the places where they have been and kind of deciding what is important in my map. So the map becomes a power tool for their own reality. I captured the idea from Doreen Massey and uh, she made a theory of the white people coming to South America and wiping out the personal maps of these old old groups that were living there. They wiped it away and they brought their own map and kind of cleaned the map from their old names, cleaned the map from the traditional places and they brought their structure on it and this old way of thinking was kind of forgotten so it becomes kind of a tool of owning the space and defining it and controlling the space so that's why i think it's good to go back to this personal map so you can also see that the space can also be defined by me by myself and we all have the possibility to shape our own reality and play with it a bit. We are not in a prison <laughs> no, that somebody, somebody else made up, but we can also make it somehow more joyful. Our surroundings. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> Me. And you do the same. One is behind six in front. You negative and equal positive. And it shows us that when there is a picture of a woman who can stay at Gullestrup School, they make more creative things. But when they make them, there are many children who come to the school with the things they make. So there they also got minus points for to have the things they make. So there they also got minus points for to have minus points for to have the things they make. So there they also got minus points for to have minus points Ja, så skal vi også lige i gang med at tale om øh, 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 Syrien. Syrien, fordi der har været krig meget lang tid, heldigvis. Så er det stoppet.
está grabando ahí eso. No sé si está pasando. Ok. Yo pretendo prender la cámara. No siento, Franklin, no sopa. Here was a machine which we have in our exhibition uh, uh, for four months ago. You can see here. You you put a you, you you put food inside. You give it vegetables and meat and all things, cakes and and teas and everything. And in the other <coughs> side, there comes this a shit out. <laughs> it's a very big machine like this room here. <laughs> Or more, I think, from from here outside. Yes. And where did they get the shit from? Where did they get the shit from? It, it 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 was like a stomach. The the machine. There was chemical and all the process and bacterial in the machine. So it it was uh, like <laughs> like a stomach. This this machine. I feel that I'm more interested to the process, that what kind of image does this village build in me? As the reality would be made of fragments and they little by little build inside me. And uh, also as a human and artist, I think it's important for me to learn to listen to the community. If I work as an artist and bring things to people, I should know who to I talk to. And uh, I feel that one important thing what we've noticed is that when people are hurt, the story actually becomes important. There are people like who mostly other people in the in this place they don't see them speak a lot. They say that wow this is a very silent woman, and now we've been talking with this woman, and she has been talking for three hours and sharing her life. And I think that's uh, it's something that I think we should value more. I wish if something can be left here is making, seeing the richness in our own stories, that what we tell, and not always be defined by outside, or defined by these measures mm. that the outside world gives us. Do you speak better Danish than Prince Henry? No. The Crown Prince of Denmark, he's been here for 50 years. But he doesn't have anything there, so it's just like, it might be 10 phrases. I have not many words, but a little bit. Man can go in in språk, and man can... Men svensk og dansk minder også meget om hinanden. Ja. Og I lærer svensk. Og jeg, jeg har lært med svensk i skolen. Ja. For den. Okay, I lærer, okay, I lærer svensk i dansk ja, skole. Ja, alle. Alle. <laughs> Good. Let's okay. take some pictures. Oh, that's it. So this is my working yeah. uniform. Yes. <laughs> like the old fishermen in Denmark. Yes. Og så er det bedre om. Men vi så i. I går lidt op, og så bliver du stående, så ligesom du møder dem. Altså, I kommer gående hernede af. Ja. Ikke? Vi to? Ja, ja, ja. Jeg to. 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 Jeg
Dan vind ik jou een goede stroop en best geen plaats voor alle. Ja, zo heb ik je snaak. It's a stock house for uh, yes. fireworks. Yes. And um, it suddenly started fire. Yes. And the whole area it uh, exploded. I was lying underneath this fire and felt like the heat. The heat. And I was lying covering uh, behind her. And you felt that there's a moment when you like, did you think that you would die? I was going, I thought I was going to die a couple of times. Yeah. And uh, I think that our life is very short mm -hmm. and to focus in these things that are the sto stories and share it, mm -hmm. it's the best thing we have. Mm -hmm. And to hear this, that what's important for people, we can bring a lot of good things in life. And also this, that I felt that this taught me so much of meeting people, because when I don't meet them as something which I thought before, but when I really like hear them, not go there with expectations, but just to meet them really, I feel that I change so much with people and I think when we have the ability to kind of grow up. I can fly here and there, but I can fly not in the town. I can do it, but it's not allowed. And they are very, very crazy about drones for the moment. So why do you like flying? I don't know. I don't know. Did you always do? Yeah. I built um, the first model I built. When I was 10 years, I have the plan, the drawing plan, I have it still. And I have found it and I built one exactly. This one. The first plane I have in my life. One like this. No, no, no. I have 
and they were fine with my father. Yeah. No. But it's an interesting story that you started playing this, playing this, and you both keep on playing. You know, I don't know if it's something you have built in because my father uh, died when I was just eight. My father flying mobile airplane, but I don't know if it was in me because when I was ten, I came. Mm, there was a shock with the mobile airplane. I said, "I must have one like this," yeah. and I don't know why. You just felt that you needed. Yeah. And it's funny because. I have just bought two new engines for this one from a man in Copenhagen. Yes. And I spoke with him. And when he was a kid, he fly with my father and can remember him. I think it was funny. And then I told him that my father died in sixty and they called him Long John. Long John was Yeah, and and he said, I remember him. We have flown together. So, it's funny, but I don't know why. You know, the man with most toy when he dies will win. And I'm in the... <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. You are winning. I'm in the lead. Thank you. 